Hey guys, welcome back to Bronze's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to find the circumference of a circle. So I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of this term before, but what exactly does circumference mean? Well, circumference is the enclosing boundary of a curved geometric figure, especially of a circle. So in shorter terms, the circumference is really the perimeter of a circle. So this outside boundary or the perimeter of a circle is called the circumference. So in order to find the circumference of a circle, there are two different formulas. So I will be showing you guys how to find the circumference using both. So the first formula is C, or circumference, is equal to 2 pi r. So you're multiplying 2 times the value of pi times r, or the radius. The radius is half of the diameter, and the diameter is just this, as you can see in our circle here, this is our diameter, so it's cutting halfway through the circle, and it could be from any direction. So in this case, we have it going this way, and the diameter is equal to 20 centimeters. So that means if radius is half of the diameter, the radius is equal, so let's make a small line over the diameter, so as you can see, half of this will be the radius. And so the radius will be equal to 10 centimeters. So we can go ahead and plug that into our formula. So C is now equal to 2 times pi and then times radius of just 10 centimeters. All right, and now we can simplify this because we can multiply 2 times 10 to get 20 pi. So we have to multiply 20 times the value of pi. Now pi is equal to 22 sevenths or approximately 3.14. So this is the value of pi that you will most likely use in all cases, which is 3.14, because that's the approximated value of pi. So you're going to have to multiply 3.14 times 20. So let's go ahead and do the multiplication. So 3.14 times 20. We know that any mul any number multiplied by the number 0 is going to be 0, so 4 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 0 is 0. Alright, so add a 0 and then go on to the tenths digits. So 4 times 2 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. Add these together and you get 6, 2, 8, 0. And then we have to move the decimal point two places from right to left, and you get 62.80 or 62.8. That means the circumference of this circle is equal to 62.8 centimeters. So this is how you find the circumference of a circle using the first formula, which is C is equal to 2 pi r and we got c is equal to 62.8 centimeters all right so now let's go ahead and do um, circumference of a circle using the second method so the second method is circumference is equal to pi times d the D stands for diameter. So in our first formula, what we were doing is 2 pi r. So we were multiplying 2 times the radius. So if you multiply radius times 2 or 2 times radius, you get the diameter, right? So this formula is just basically shortened out. So you're saying C is equal to pi D. So you're multiplying the uh, pi times the diameter. So let's keep the same measurements. So our diameter is equal to 20 centimeters. So if we multiply 20 times 3.14, we should get 62.8. So 3.14 times 20. And as we have done this multiplication up here, we get 62.8. And so our circumference is still going to be equal to 62.8. So it's just pretty much the same formula, except some people might think this formula is easier because you don't really have to multiply 
the radius times 2, or you could just simply um, ha uh, multiply the diameter times the pi and find the circumference. So this is our circumference. C is equal to, or circumference is equal to 62.8, and then don't forget the units, centimeters. All right, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys learned how to find the circumference of a circle, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.